you can do this. Five dollars. I just had my surgery two weeks ago for my right shoulder and there's a few things that I did before and after surgery that made this recovery process a breeze. There's a few things I want to recommend and the first one is using a recliner. Get a recliner. Pay for a recliner. Borrow a recliner. I don't care what you do. Get a recliner. It is so good. Prior to the surgery, for three months, I've been in pain. I go to bed in pain, I wake up in pain. The recliner has been the best thing that I've ever got for my shoulders. Seriously, it's really hard to lay flat on your back with a shoulder injury, especially after a shoulder surgery. So get the recliner, it's 100% worth it. If you're thinking about getting a wedge, that could be an option, but from what I know, if you're on a wedge pillow on your bed, you tend to start sliding down, and once you start sliding down, it's hard to adjust, spend a little more, and get a cheap recliner. It is 100% worth it. It's been the number one thing I recommend for anyone getting shoulder surgery. Another thing is get some bigger clothes. If you don't have bigger clothes, then go buy a few shirts because putting on tighter clothes, putting on clothes that you wear that fit you well is something that you will not be able to do. You just need some bigger clothes. It's just almost impossible to wear tight shirts. Find some bigger clothes, some loose tank tops, have a few of them because you're gonna need them at least for the first two weeks. The first couple days there was no way I was gonna get through them without the help of my parents. I was very fortunate to have help from them. They helped me with everything I needed to do. Anything simple, anything difficult, whatever it is, they were there. Having that extra hand really really does make a difference and it does help. So if you don't have it, find some extra help from anyone, your friends, your family, anyone that can help you out. Get the extra hand. It really does make a difference. Cooking is not so hard hard but it can be if you have only one hand like opening jars or taking out ice or taking out the pan and turn you know doing all just cooking cooking in general could be very tough if you can get some food prepared some microwavable food some frozen food or a bunch of snacks whatever it is get some food ready when you can't really cook anything the next thing I recommend may not be for everyone but I do recommend exfoliating scrub. Something like face wash that has those little beads in them, body wash or a loofah or something. What I do is I put the facial exfoliator on my arm and in between my armpits and I just scrub my arm and my forearm, my elbow, my armpits and that really helps with the itchiness because your arm is at rest this whole time. It's not getting that much air uh, so like having a scrub to exfoliate your arm is going to help reduce the itchiness that may come from you being in a sling for such a long time and there's two things that don't really matter but i think would help you make it by for the first two weeks is getting your laundry done so get all that stuff done out the way because you won't be doing laundry anytime soon and number two i guess with that said maybe a haircut you know because I don't know if your hair grows fast, but my hair grows fast. So I got a haircut right before the surgery and I was able to get a haircut a couple days later. So I guess a haircut doesn't really matter. So let's take that out. If you're driving, there's something called a steering wheel knob. I'll put a picture here. This thing will help you drive with one arm in case you need to start driving right away. Although your surgeon may not recommend you driving, but if you need it, that is a good thing to get. For the last one, it is you. Get your mind right. You have to be ready over here to overcome the next few weeks of the initial recovery process. If this is your first surgery, this is very scary. Having only one arm is also very scary. It can be stressful doing normal things. Focus on the end goal focus on the price it's you recovering back to a hundred percent it's not easy but it's not the hardest thing to do so get your mind right prepare yourself for the days to come don't stress yourself out too much it's not the worst thing in the world you're gonna get better get your mind right i hope this is helpful i have my own recovery vlog of my surgery hope you guys find that useful and good luck in your recovery every single day, every single day. Every single day. We worked out 2019. From 230. 30, 2. 1 is 65 now. To this day. We went lower, but right now we're at 165. And we did it all live on the street. 
And we took people with us. People that were down too. People just like me. People just like you. We did it.